In this video, I'm going to show you how to insert a footnote. I'm on the second page of my document here, and I've got a paragraph highlighted in blue. It's only highlighted in blue just so I can quickly find it again. And what I want to do is I want to add a footnote. And in order for me to do that, all I need to do is click my mouse where I want to have the footnote appear, where I want to have the footnote number appear. So let's say that this is the phrase that I want to add the footnote to, and I've clicked my mouse onto my text and if I go up to insert if I scroll down on this menu I can choose footnote and what happens is it drops me down to the bottom of the page where I can type any text that I want and when I do that I can format this text as well so if there are any particular rules I need to follow I can do those I can even add in links if necessary if I want to get rid of my footnote, I can't just come in here and hit my back button and start deleting text because look what happens. I can't get rid of this number one no matter what I do and where I click. The number one won't go away. In order for me to get rid of my footnote altogether, I actually have to go back up to where I inserted the footnote and get rid of that number. So I've just clicked my mouse on the other side of it and I'm hitting backspace and the number is gone and now at the bottom of the page my footnote is gone. So I'm going to do undo here so we can get our footnote back on our page. There it is. Google Docs will automatically sense if you change the ordering. So I'm on page two. I've added one footnote. So that's why we have the number one. Watch what happens if I add a footnote on page one. I'm going to do it to this paragraph I've highlighted in orange after this first phrase here. I'm going to go up to insert, footnote, and add type any text here. And maybe I want to have this special color. So notice now my footnote has a number one. And if I go to my second page, this used to be the number one. But now it's been automatically adjusted to two. And if I scroll down, I can see the two appear there. So if I were to add in another footnote, let's say here, watch what happens. Okay, the system knew that this was the second footnote on the page. And if I scroll down, the foot, this footnote is now number three. And that's footnotes.